On this Ryder Cup weekend, I've been to meet two rather special golfers who can give the European team even more hope. One man who helped Europe's one-armed side win their equivalent of the Ryder Cup this week. And another British champion who tours the world competing in the, the Long Drive World Series so he, he can hit the ball much further than anyone will in Paris this weekend. When Joe Miller steps up to the tee, he's not necessarily thinking about the green or the hole or scoring a birdie. Oh, not that sort. It's just a case of how far he can get the ball to go. <laughs> just to give you an idea then of the distances involved, there is Joe. Oh, all over there, look, on the 18th tee against the blue horizon. So I'm nearly 300 yards away down the fairway. This is roughly where the pros, the Ryder Cup players, will be getting their tee shots to land this weekend. Let me take you to where Joe can usually get his driver to hit the ball to. All the way down here, in fact, we're so near to the water, we would probably go into the water 440 yards away. Thank you, George. But I've got a buoyancy aid in case we need to retrieve it from the lake here. Let's see how far this goes from Joe then. On its way now. It's on its way. I think it's going to go way into the water. Oh, yes! Into the water. So beyond, way beyond 440 yards. Perfect landing where he intended it to go. Incredible accuracy as well as the distance there. Watching Joe, his ball takes off like a missile, still rising after several seconds. And it's this speed and strength that has led Joe to two Long Drive World Championship titles and victory here in the UK leg of the Long Drive World Series at Melbourne Club at Brockett Hall this summer. Don't get me wrong, I do love to play golf as well, but you know, everyone loves to hit a ball a long way. Um, and when you're when, you know, when he turns out that you're actually pretty good at the sport, there's nothing better than competing against some of the best in the world and, and proving that you really are the longest. He's sort of world's strongest man for golf, you know. Uh, if you can hit it the furthest, lift the heaviest thing, run fastest, that's the thing that people are interested in. And you can come along a couple of hours, watch these guys whack the ball, as, as you saw earlier, just as hard as they can. It goes miles, it's really exciting. But what about the short drivers? <laughs> Take two. That's better, and Joe reckons his top tips can improve the distance for even the most amateur of amateurs. More rotation for the normal golfer, a uh, bigger shoulder turn, normally tends to get the speed up and get the ball going a lot further. I gain nearly 30 yards in just a few minutes. There's your best one, look. That's flew 175 yards. Moving forward, the Long Drive series is hoping to hold a competition for one-armed golfers in the UK next year. Rob Paul, who has cerebral palsy, has played one-armed golf since he was a child and last week helped the European team beat the Americans in the one-armed version of the Ryder Cup. It was a good team performance. The weather played its part. I mean, it's 40 mile per hour wind, so it was <laughs> definitely, uh, definitely not what they're used to. Just trying to hit it as smooth as possible, tempo, um, trying to make a good connection with the ball and letting, basically letting the club do the work. Easier said than done, as I once again came up short in this long drive game. Yeah, well done for the European one-armed team for showing how it's done. Thrashing the Americans. It looks absolutely okay. fantastic, that course. Oh, at Brockett Hall, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, the Melbourne Club. Beautiful rolling greens and then that huge 18th hole. And I really didn't expect Joe to get it all the way into the water there, right over my head. And every time we try it, for filming purposes, you have to try these things a few times, straight into the water every time.